What's up guys and girls, it's Glenn here once again with another Rope Rage video. That clip you just saw was legendary boxer Roberto Duran doing, we'll call it the Roberto Duran squat. Essentially what he's doing is a Tyson squat, which is a squat jump with a single under, but he takes it to the next level and he does it with a double under. So, I'm sure you've seen the previous video on the Tyson squat with my, I think it was really good, but everyone tells me it's a very bad impression of Mike Tyson. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right, I'm Mike Tyson. The most brutal and most vicious champion that's ever been. And today's a very special day because I'm gonna show you guys how to do the Tyson squat the right way. I'll let you decide, but regardless of the impression, that was the Tyson squat, which is a squat jump with a single under. Beastly move, really hard move really gets the burn going in the legs. Well, recently, Nova Emotion in the comments, big shout to you, brought to my attention the Roberto Duran squat, which is pretty much the same movement, but with a double under jump. So we're gonna look at that in this video. Thank you, Nova Emotion, for showing me that. It's not an easy move to learn, but we're gonna do it. It is just a higher level of the Tyson squat, which in itself is a very high level advanced jump rope technique. So step one, it goes without saying, is that you must be able to do the Tyson squat pretty comfortably. I'll quickly run through the Tyson squat as a recap. As you jump into the rope, rather than landing straight, you sink down into the squat, get your side swing ready, swing to the left, swing to the right. And then as you open up again, you bounce out of your squat and into your squat. Out of your squat, into your squat. That's the Tyson squat jump. So how are we gonna adapt that to the Roberto Duran squat? Well, the first thing you wanna be mindful of is pushing through the ground a lot more with your jump. It goes without saying, you need more elevation with this technique. And rather than trying to lift the body off the ground, you wanna push the ground away with your feet, like you would with a push-up, but with the feet. As you're pushing, you're engaging the glutes a lot more than you normally would. So with the Tyson squat, you're more engaging the quads, um, the hamstrings, but because you're exploding a lot higher with the Roberto Duran squat, you need to get the glutes involved as well. So you're really pushing that ground away with everything you have. Next stage, be mindful as you're going up and as you're coming down to keep your form. Try to keep the body tight and compact. Try to keep the body straight. This will keep you balanced as you jump up and down because you're leaving the ground quite a bit. It's a lot higher than a regular jump. As we know, for jump rope techniques, you only need to jump the width of the rope to clear it. But with this technique, you're springing up a lot more. So to keep your form intact, keep the body compact and straight. Important things to remember. Thing number one, keep your torso up and straight. The reason for this is as you're going down into your jump, if you lean forward, your hands are gonna follow, your hand positioning is gonna follow, and you might end up slashing the ground with your rope like this. You don't want that. This of course is no good because every time that rope hits the ground you're killing the momentum of the rope. You're not flowing, the rope isn't moving fluidly. Keep the torso up and in turn you're able to keep your hands up around your chest level to keep those side swings going. Thing number two, which is really important to remember, is not to lean over your knees. You want to sink back and push up in a nice straight line. If you lean over your knees you're going to lose balance and it's also a recipe for injury, so we don't want that. All right, so there you have it. The Roberto Duran squat jump. Really, really tough technique. Take your time as you're learning it. Really important to get that Tyson squat down first and then go for the Duran squat. Pushing away from the ground a bit more. Keeping your forms really important. And I assure you, you will feel that leg burn. If you're a bit tired of doing the same old, you know, jump rope sprints and 
high knee techniques and Tyson squats, maybe you're bored of that now. You can throw this into your routine if you want to get a real burn going in the legs and I assure you, you will feel it and you will see the benefits of it in terms of explosive jumping and agility. Once again, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check out this video. If you found this video helpful, do not just click off the video, go about your day and forget about it. That will hurt my feelings a lot. I'd much prefer it if you hit the like button, if you dropped a comment down below, letting me know how you're going to use this in your training or what you thought of the technique itself. I'm all ears. And of course, of course, if you want to see more videos like these, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. The way YouTube works nowadays is if you don't have that bell clicked on, you're probably not going to see the videos and you're going to miss out on a lot of the stuff that's coming out. You'll notice I haven't put up videos in quite some time. I haven't kept up the regularity that um, I've done in the past and that's because there's a lot of stuff that I'm working on aside from the videos which you guys will be seeing soon so I can't wait. I hope you guys can wait and just be patient. It will be worth it. So once again, appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. Yeah, it's winter in London. You've got to love it. Oh my word. Look at what the winter's done to my shoes. I've only just realised that. Clean shoes or dirty shoes, we stay raging regardless. So let's carry on. subscribe if you don't we have no videos <laughs> subscribe to this video once again subscribe that's it thank and you and subscribe for all the videos that we watch if it's finished we get more videos coming on yeah so subscribe to all of the videos that we watched you must subscribe press the press button and then you will see all the different kind of buttons you want to press you can press which one is your favorite one then you can choose which one is your favorite one you have to learn and you have to train so you can get big yeah. subscribe <laughs>